Hi everybody and welcome to Mother Cow Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how I make my uh, high neck uh, raglan sweater. Crocheted high neck raglan sweater. Uh, hope you will uh, understand what I mean uh, and if you don't just um, ask me and I'll tell you again. Um, for uh, a sweater my size about a large, a roomy large, perhaps, uh, so I can fit uh, uh, a thin sweater underneath. It takes about, with my woolly yarn, it's 100 gram skeins, it's about 210 meters. Uh, it's for a 5 millimeter hook, and uh, I'm using a 7 millimeter, and I use about 600 grams. Uh, a, a six um, skeins for uh, my 11 year old I use about four skeins so if you want to do a small perhaps four or five skeins my size a large uh, six skeins and if you want bigger you need more yarn so uh, there you have it and we're ready to rock and roll <laughs> Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way For this project I'm using a Libris Soki, uh, my go-to wool yarn, it's 75% wool and 25% polyamide. Uh, I think it's 210 meters, um, it's a super wash. And this colorway is called Candy Store, it's just yummy. <clears throat> I'm, uh, it's called for a uh, uh, hook five, hook size five millimeter, and I'm using a seven. Uh, I've chained up, uh, for my uh, high color, uh, I've chained up 60 stitches, and then I do one more, and in the third stitch from the hook, I do my first double crochet, and then I do double crochets all the way. Uh, to measure it, uh, so you get the uh, appropriate size of your uh, color, you need to try it around your head. And when it's really snug around your head and you can just pinch it together in the back, it's super. So for my head in this yarn, I do 60 stitches. Uh, for my 11 year uh, old girl, I do 60 stitches and for my six-year-old I do 54. Very important is to know that it's always going to be dividable by six. Uh, and when I've done my first row of double crochets, I slip stitch in the first to make a ring and after that I do front post, back post uh, in every other uh, stitch front post double crochets and back post double crochets. So we get a ribbed color. Um, and if you want to know how you do them, there are a ton of super good videos on YouTube. So just um, search for uh, front post uh, double crochets or back post double crochets and you will get the um, idea of how you do it. Uh, so let's start with front post and back post double crochets. I'm on my second row of uh, front post, back post, double crochets and this is how it's looking right now. I want my color to be quite high so if it's windy I just pull it up and, and feel warm and cozy and when it's not that hot I can just fold it down. 
So I got many rows to go. Um, just do uh, the color as high or as short as you want it. And uh, I will see you in part two movie. Uh, and it will be up uh, and uh, showing in just a bit. See ya! Bye!